Hey guys, it's Jason here, Old Car Auto Guy. And as I sit here editing this very video, I've come across a couple of issues that makes me almost not want to upload this video. First of all, the first two or three clips, no sound for some reason. Really not sure why, uh, which is leading me to record this intro to the channel. The second thing is, because this is about the exhaust on Project Grandma, it didn't turn out, I don't know how to say this, the sound isn't what I expected. So I'm not sure how it's going to come out on camera, but we're going to have to roll the footage anyways. So here's the intro, let's see what we have. So we're doing an oil change on this uh, on this old beast, and any of you guys who are Ford mechanics are probably going to laugh at me for saying so, but especially you junk from work, you're heading over to a Ford dealership, you're going to run into this a lot. Who in the right mind designed putting a oil filter in behind all this crap? So when you unscrew it, it drips all over your rack, and all over the place over here, and all this stuff. Crap, I tell you. Anyways, Tim's over here with the torches, getting ready to cut off some of these uh, old parts for the exhaust, and uh, we're going to get the new stuff put on. So, we'll touch base with you here in a few minutes. Make sure we reuse those, Tim. Yeah. I would want my car to shake apart. Those are the doofers. <laughs> doofers. <laughs> I don't know what they do for but... So step one, Tim is just finishing up putting the bolts and the flanges up there. We've got our H pipe in. So we're going to let her down and start her up just with this on it. See how good she sounds. I am going to put oil in it first though, don't forget that. I'm put oil in it, Tim. Not in that cup over. for me because we forgot to put the oil in <laughs> so we are making some progress here we got a couple of mufflers almost hung and we're just working away at getting the uh, pasture side tailpipe mounted and there's the hanger there and then we're going to uh, get that welded onto the muffler using a piece of this exhaust and we've got to weld on a hanger here and then get that one up over the axle and then weld it to that muffler so because we're using aftermarket mufflers these flanges are no longer in use so i have to cut it off So what Tim is doing there right now is he's taking a muffler clamp and turning it into a hanger. And the reason why we're doing that because there's a little bit more adjustment on them uh, by being able to squeeze them or open them. If you need to align those tailpipes out that hole just ever so slightly. So that's a little trick that he used to do back when he was doing exhaust work for I think nine years he worked for the muffler shop. So. All right guys, this job is just about done, all except for the sound. So we're getting ready to start it up for the first time. You guys are coming along, let's do it.
What do you think, guys? Does it have not enough, too much, or is it just right? And the way we're going to know is if we drive it and give her the uh, rev her out test. So I think that's what we're going to do next, and then we're going to close out this video. Alright, so we're just getting ready to pull out onto the highway here and we're going to give it the, uh, the test of pulling out on hard throttle and uh, I'm thinking already it's going to be a little bit too quiet, but who knows, let's try her out. It's very subtle, and I think if you had the window up, you probably wouldn't hear a whole lot. So we're going to do it again one more time, this time with the windows up. Well, you can definitely tell there's something there, and it's not stock. So. Maybe in another video, you might see me poking out at least two of the cats. Maybe the two rear cats will get rid of them. I don't know. It sounds good. Don't get me wrong, especially for the money that I got tied up into this thing. Um, I might try it for a little while, see if I get used to it, but I'm thinking it has to be just a little tiny bit more. Let me know what you guys think down below. We're going to try a few more hits, see how she goes. If you don't know me by now and know that I like subtle, I'm thinking that I'm digging that because after driving it a little bit at just a certain RPM, it does kind of have a little bit of a drone, nothing too serious or obnoxious, but just enough to let you know there's something there. I'm really impressed with that and I want to thank Tim. He did all the work. I'm taking all the credit, but you know how it goes. Uh, Tim's a really good guy and he knows how to weld. I don't. I got to learn someday. 44 years old almost. Don't know how to weld and uh, that way I can start doing some of these projects on my own. Having said that, that brings this video to a close. So we're standing here in the garage and if you can see over my shoulder the license plates on the wall, that is project wall art and I am trying to finish that up. If you've got some spare license plates, please send them my way. My addresses are down below if you're in Canada or the US, I've got an address for both places. One will get them here a little bit quicker than the other depending on where you're from. Also, Car Guy and Six Fan Show is starting up on July the 11th. I encourage you to go over to Straight Six Fan's uh, YouTube channel. He is the second link in the description box below and subscribe to him because he will start season two of the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. If you don't know what that is, I have a playlist. You can go back and watch all 17, 19 episodes. I forget what we did in season one and you'll know exactly what we're doing. Uh, we're talking cars, we're doing YouTube help. Uh, for those who have channels and we're trying to spread support to everybody who is trying to build their channels when you come onto our stream we are also a support stream so there's guys there that will find you subscribe to your channels last but not least sussex beard oil sponsors this beard they've been an ongoing sponsor for several months now you can check them out right here at sussexbeard.com they have products not just for beards but for all you guys who are unbearded as well and if you have tattoos they got a tattoo cream that is supposed to be really, really good for soothing those aching, fresh tattoos. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you all. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.